Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In today's video, we're going to learn all about and how to use the user registration add-on by WP Forms. The user registration add-on allows you to create custom registration forms where your visitors can create a WordPress account on your site. By creating a custom registration form, you can control what information you'll need from a user before they create an account and even specify what level of access they'll have once their account has been created. With that said, let's get right into it. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the user registration add-on. We'll do this by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and scrolling down until you find the user registration add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Once the status has been updated, we'll be ready to head into the form builder by clicking on the Add New tab on the left side. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse through the available categories to pick one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. After the user registration add-on has been activated, you'll be able to search for and select the user registration form template, which we'll use for this tutorial. This template comes with fields for a visitor's name, a username, email address, password, and a field for a short bio where they can share information about themselves. You can add more fields to collect additional information like a user's birthday and address by setting up custom user meta fields. You can find a link to our custom user meta fields guide in the video description below. Once you've set up your form fields, we can move on to configuring the user registration settings. Click on the settings tab on the left and then click on user registration. On this page, we'll need to map each of our form fields to an existing field in a WordPress user profile. This is to make sure that each piece of form information goes to the right place in a user's new profile. To map a field, just select a form field from each available dropdown field, starting with the username. This field has two options, so we're going to select the form field that contains the customer's username. In the name dropdown field, we're going to select the form field that contains the customer's first and last name. In the password drop-down field, you can choose to have a password be automatically generated for this new user, or you can pull in the password that the user created for themselves in the password form field. These next two fields are optional, so feel free to skip them if they don't apply to you. If the user has a website of their own and you included a URL field in your form, you can select that field in the website drop-down. Finally, you can map the paragraph field containing a user's short bio to the biographical information drop-down field. In the next section, you can select what role will be assigned to this new account by default. Depending on the role that you select, a user may have more or less access to certain areas of your WordPress site. If you'd like more details about user roles in WordPress, be sure to check out WP Beginner's Guide to WordPress User Roles and Permissions which will be linked in the description below. Finally, you'll be able to configure your user activation and login settings. These settings basically determine how a new account will be activated, as well as two additional login features. The Enable User Activation setting will allow a user to activate their account themselves. The default activation method will be user email, meaning that a user will receive an email that contains a link to activate their account. Once they click on the link, their account will be ready to go. You can customize the email subject and message if you'd like. Just be sure to leave the URL user activation smart tag as it is. You can also choose to switch the activation method to manual approval, meaning that you as the administrator will need to manually approve each new account via the Users tab in the WordPress dashboard. If you don't enable user activation, you'll instead be able to turn on an option called Enable Auto Login. If turned on, users will automatically be logged into their new account for your site once they filled out and submitted the registration form. The setting called Hide Form If User Is Logged In will automatically hide the login form from logged in users to avoid any confusion for customers with an account on your site. If this is turned off, the login form will still be visible to you and your users even if you're already logged in. The last section involves email notifications. You can choose to have an email sent to the site's admin when a new user is created, 
and you can also email the user themselves with their own account information. You can click on the Edit Template link for either option to customize the email template for either setting. When you're done making your changes, click on the Save button on the top right corner. But creating a custom registration form isn't the only thing you can do with the user registration add-on. In addition to a user registration template, the add-on also comes with a template for a login form and a password reset template that your customers can use if they forgot their password. You can find and select both of these templates from the setup page in the form builder. Each template has brief settings unique to its own functionality. The login form template includes a Remember Me checkbox that users can check so they won't need to enter their information each time they want to log into your site. And in the User Registration Settings tab, you can choose to hide the form if the user is already logged in and customize the message that will be displayed to the user if this setting is turned on. With our Password Reset template, you can customize the email that is automatically sent if a user requests to reset their password. And finally, if a user created an account on your site but didn't receive the activation email for whatever reason, you can resend this email by going to the Users tab in your WordPress dashboard, find the pending user request, and click on the Resend Activation Email option. And with all of that said, you're all set. You now know how to use the user registration add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.